Night of 100 Stars in the opulent Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills, California. Hi and welcome to Q&A with Mickey and Shay and we are with the fabulous Ron Mayshack. And I'm Kay. Yeah. <laughs> nice seeing you again. So we're all excited. It's Oscars week. Yeah, it's Oscar, it's Oscar week and the nice thing about it is our mailbox won't be as full anymore. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> they keep, no, they keep sending the variety in the daily reporter every day. Oh. So I'm going to miss that. So which of the nominated movies were your top three picks? I liked very much The American Sniper. I liked Bird and Man. I liked uh, The Theory of Everything. Really the Theory of Everything was nice. I liked that. Um, Still Alice. And I, you didn't like my hotel one? Yeah, we talked about that. The Hotel Budapest. She loved that. I love the two. I just like funny. I thought Ray Fiennes did a magnificent like job too. of making I'm everyone I'm tired. I, I'm tired of drama and sickness and and all that stuff. I mean, I know it has to be told. Yeah, but it's good to it's laugh. Good to have you know? a laugh here and there. I like to, I something like to something light. Laugh. Something you, yeah, you want something to light because when you start know. thinking and you start getting emotional, and then she starts beating me with a pan or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what have you guys been up to recently? Well, we've been with you over at Roger Neal's uh, Oscar Suite. We did that. We just, Kay and I just wrote back from the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Classic that raises a lot of funds for Barbara Sinatra's Children's Center there. Uh, writing, acting, directing, doing all that kind of stuff. My book is still out there if you want to buy my book. Remind, can you remind our viewers what the name of your book I've is? I've met all my heroes from A to Z. Get it on Amazon.com. And then we've got a new project that's going to star Robert Wagner, Tim Conway, and myself called Senior Class. Cool. Everybody go check it out. Yeah. What do you think are... And they might, might need some young kids in it, Ron. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. never knows. What do you think are some of the most important social issues we as kids should think about? The issues? The important issues? Social issues. Social issues. Peace. Somebody's got to start teaching the young what peace is. Yeah. I mean, uh, last night we found out at the at the Sinatra thing, Barbara has made maybe thousands of children who were bullied and beaten whole again. You know, we've got to stop bullying. We have to stop antagonizing people. Hatred. I don't know of a religion that teaches hate until recently, and I'm an older man. You know, we always knew who the enemy were. How do you think we as kids can help improve those social issues? Befriend everybody. Befriend everybody yeah. and teach them, the, you know, the ways of being I mean, nice. There's so much uh, hatred amongst the young kids, but they learn it from their parents. You know, the parents teach them to hate. Not them. Oh, they're, she's got a dead no. mom. Oh. No, 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 no. Awesome parents. But, I mean, mom no. ta taught you to love and respect one another. And if more parents would take the time to teach your kids to love and respect. Listen. And your parents will teach your children to and listen. There's no such thing as color. If God wanted everything to be in the same color, all of our flowers would be pink or all that. But we have that. every we have every color in the world and that doesn't make it a bad a bad thing and if people would learn to respect one another and not go by their color I think our world would be a better place and yeah getting along getting, just getting along yeah. this is the only well it's one of the few countries in the world I can't think of too many others that nobody tries to escape from they're all trying to get in. They all yeah. want to come to the United States because we're freedom. We're a freedom country, yeah. you know? Definitely. Now, I wanted and to ask you both a question. Who's the best rider? Me. <laughs> Who's the best polo player? Me. <laughs> You're both absolutely oh, wonderful. One last question before yeah. we leave. Sure. What is the magic formula for success? The magic, what of my success? The magic formula for your success. Oh, I, for success is, is knowing who you are. And let that be your success. Be the best you you can be. I always tell young actors and actresses and the same thing. Don't try to be somebody else. They've already had one Marlon Brando. They've already got one Brad Pitt. They've already got somebody oh, with beautiful nails. Well, well, beautiful nails. <laughs> but as long as you be Another the best hand. you, yeah. everyone else is going to try to be you. 
Who is Whoa, that? you have four hands. Hello, Luna. The lovely Barbara Luna is right behind me. Well, we have, uh, we think you guys are the magic formula for success. Yes. And for that, we award you with the Thumbs, thumbs Up Award. Thumbs Up Award. Thank you for your time.